Greetings, everybody. This is Sabin Dimitrov, aka a Dennis for the Astro Wolf, and it's a pleasure to have you guys here for this next video. This is going to be a short one. You guys are going to see how fun an auto clicker is when getting resources. This is way more fun than hitting that claim all button. This is way more fun. The game's not happy about this, but I do not care. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun. Look at that bad boy go. Yeah, this is this might go on for a little while, but I kind of just wanted to see how badly I could break the game, and I'm very happy with the results. This is, is, is the kind of fun shenanigans I like, like, I like to get into, because, you know what, screw being normal. That's a very angry game, but you know what, I am fine with that. YOLO Swaggeroonie, let's go. Oh, and by the way, I'm, I'm since I'm here, I might as well, you know, what, well, might as well show you guys how to craft some new equipment. All right. First, we heal our soldiers. There we go. Quickly grab our grab grab ourselves um our stuff. <clears throat> there we are. Quickly do that. Quickly do that. And quickly do that. Look at that. Look at that big fluffy werewolf. Looks awesome. Every time, every time I see a big fluffy werewolf, I want to play with the faces. It looks soft and squishy. All right. So as you guys can see, uh, for the blacksmith, uh, when you go into here, there is some uh, different stuff that you can see. And the quickest way that, that you can check to see if you can build stuff is if you don't see any red numbers. Right now it says 2 out of 3, 1 out of 3, and 0 out of 3, and stuff like that. So, you just, you know, work your way up to see what you can build. Alright, we've done everything for that that we can. And then... We've done everything for this. Uh, actually, not yet. As you guys can see, we can actually, uh, you know, get these bad boys uh, crafted pretty quickly. You know, just keep you keep keep watching what I, what what I do, and you guys will, will see what I, what I'm working on. And there we go. We got that one all taken care of. And there we go. Now, they still haven't implemented uh, upgrading the rings in the game yet, but, you know, they will get to that eventually. So first, let us quickly check to make sure that we have used all these. We are 21 days from, from being Town Center level 24, so I'm really excited about that, guys. Let's go go ahead and get these bad boys set up. Wow, I thought we had way more speed ups. Oh well, sounds good. Let's go ahead and get that bad boy all set up. And then just do that. And then 
level this up. And there we go. Now, we need to level something else up. And I, I have a feeling that we should level this bad boy up. So that way we, we can keep up, upgrading the rest of our stuff. These guys are our stewards. I admit that they could have a little bit better clothing. It's a little bit too provocative for my taste. But yeah, there we go. She's very happy with that. Um, her name is Shindova. I, you can actually name your uh, your stewards. And the other one is Sofia. Just like the, uh, the Bulgarian capital. I don't know. I've always liked the name Shindova. Uh, it's, it's a nice name. Ooh. Continuous. Continuous. Yeah, as you can you guys can see the game is not happy. I don't think the server is very happy either. And if, if anyone you know, if like any of the game developers like look at like the server history and are like what is going on here? They're going to be like, oh, really, dude? And I'm like, yep. And they're going to be like, why? And I'm just like, because. And they'll be like, but that makes the game freak out. I'm like, that's the point. It's funny. Oh, there you go. The game finally stopped fl flipping its turds. Beautiful stuff. But yeah, you know, uh, it's fun. It's. It's fun doing dumb stuff like that. And over here is today's maintenance boss. So we tap the margin. To close and we can, we can find what we are attacking. We aren't strong enough to do too much more outside of that. If you see at the top left, it says maintenance. You can do uh, any one of these. Yeah, let's go, go, go ahead, ahead and do that one. Because our heroes are strong, so we can see how well we do. Beautiful. That's very, very good. So we got all we got the maximum rewards for that. You guys see at the bottom left of the screen, exploration rewards. You click on that to see how much you can get. Delicious. So I think it's uh, 14 hours you have to come back and grab your resources or else they don't stack. And this is that. Let me just do this. Now, let's add upgrade you. Delicious. And then what we do is we're going to go over here and and uh, and uh, fast forward this. This will fast us. This will get us to uh, about eighteen days. Oh, seventeen days and twenty seven hours. Not too shabby. So that's very, very good for us. Grab all those rewards. And then we just, you know, go over here. And so we have to attack, you know, this ten times. So, one. Make sure that you, re that you recycle your commanders. Two. Three. Oh, there we go. One. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Victory. So we have accomplished that. And we can actually upgrade these. Yeah, I don't want to spend the money on that. All right, so let's quickly uh, go ahead and, and grab that. Go ahead and quickly grab that. We got ourselves Lermontov. 
I'm surprised that the game doesn't, you know, recycle their medals because we have 270 of them, but all of his skills are maxed out. So unless they add a way to, uh, you know, either recycle or enhance other benefits of your heroes, you know, the medals are just kind of uh, sitting there not accomplishing anything. All right. Then, you know, what we do is it do is that we quickly uh, go ahead and, and uh, kill those little monsters. Then let's just go ahead and quickly see what we can attack here. This is a level 12. That's a level 14. So we are going to send our biggest march to that bad boy. And then we're going gonna, gonna, gonna to go ahead and find ourselves a level 13. Delicious. Attack that. Then we, when we go over here and send out our smaller marches to the level 12s and then while we do that we can go back to uh, to uh, our uh, area and we attack three more more monsters we go back to this and start sending out our soldiers to attack these we get some of th these soldiers back by helping them get rescued super simple super easy And as you guys can see, we, we have, you know, uh, a lot of victories very, very quickly. And new ones keep popping up. So that's very, very good for us. So let's just go ahead and just quickly grab these while our soldiers come back. Alright, so that bad boy has just returned. That's amazing. I believe that's a level 4. Oop, no, that's level 12. So we need to go find ourselves a level 12 or a level 13. Let's go ahead and attempt to see if we can attack that. Can't guarantee that we will be able to, but you know, we can go ahead and try. All right, send our forces to help rescue those people. And uh, just to show you, so you guys know, at the top right of the screen, right over here, is where our bar is. And the bar, as you guys can see, is going down. That's not a bad thing. That means that, that our stamina for our soldiers uh, is going down, so you have to, uh... Ooh, can we win that? If we have two marches that can actually kill a level 14, that'll be huge. Ah, butt lumps. I really thought we were going to win that. Oh, well. Like it is, guys. Uh, we are a little bit behind on stuff just because we've been focusing solely on, you know, growing our uh, our uh, capital, our city to the max level. Because the, the faster we, we get the, these bad boys to uh, level 25, we can get everything else caught up. All right, so yeah, our soldiers are doing very, very well. We have a lot of stuff set up. Ooh, claim that bad boy. Dracovic is our very useful fella, and he will be very, very good in helping us grow. So I might consider that. We go over here and quickly grab our, our rewards. As you guys can see, that was a resounding victory. We go over here and attack that. We go over here and attack this. And then we go over here and see our victories. Let's grab all those. 
And then what we do is that we go back over here and attack some more of these. Grab ourselves our online rewards. And then uh, grab that, that little gift right there. And then we heal some more soldiers. Use all these. Speed this up by another hour and 19 minutes and 30 seconds. Then we go over here and speed this up. Because, remember guys, we want to get all our soldiers leveled up as quickly as possible. And then we go over here and use whatever we have for this. There we go. But yeah, as you guys can see, our... Uh, oh, and then we, we go over here. This is the crystal mining shaft, or qu the quartz mine. And what we do is that we just just go ahead, go ahead and see if we can go ahead and occupy anything. Yes, we can. That is amazing. So we're gonna step out and let our stuff do, let, let our soldiers do their things. Mm. Excuse me. That was what that was a nose burp. So if we could go to the quartz shop, we can see the different kind of things that that there are. All right, we got ourselves two more victories, which is wonderful, and that would be very, very helpful to us. Now, let's use all of these. 7.7 .7 million uh, experience, 800 gems, 128,000 thingies, uh, starlight statues. Go ahead and use all of these, which is wonderful. <laughs> Beautiful. Good stuff. All right. We got our second stage of rewards done, which is wonderful. Go ahead and grab this. Go ahead and attack these. I get these two. Go ahead and attack this again. This will be super quick because it's right next to our city. And then when we, we grab that, we go over here and attack the, the next one. That'll be uh, 1 minute and 10 seconds away, so we can't really do too much with that. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, do something else while that is underway. And I'm just kind of showing you guys how normal stuff is done. Now because... Oh, which of the following ways cannot increase power? Scouts. You cannot, you know, your scouts don't give you power, so you hit that little button. Oh, just so you guys know, your mana refineries and your marketplaces both give you uh, extra resources and benefits. And what this does is that the following resources will be used to transport to mana refinery, and that will give you mana. And this bad boy will give you... Uh, Other stuff, if I remember right. I forgot what, what they give you, but they, they give you good stuff because these two things, the mana tower and the, and the super mana tower and the uh, super investment bank and the regular investment bank passively give you stuff, but you have to pay real money for that, and I don't want to do that. So, what we do is that we go over here and see what we can, what we can get our hands on. The water is one of the harder things to get, so we want to go ahead and grab that. Go ahead and head and grab ourselves some of these, because these would be, be useful to us. Get ourselves some of that experience. We're going to refresh that, grab some of that, grab some of that, and grab some of that. And then, let's see. I guess one hour speed up time is good for that. And we also want to save up on those 24 hour shields because those would be very useful in helping us uh, protect ourselves. Now, let's go go, go ahead and, and kill some more. Oops. Duh. Sure, we got that too. All right. Uh, yeah, good. 
Because the more monsters that we kill, the better rewards that we will get. Oh, looks like that we, 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 we killed this guy. So let's go ahead and attack and get... No. Stop it, you turd. There we go. See? So we don't have, have enough mobility. So... Boop. And then attack. Yeah, so at the very top left of the screen will show that we have no... Uh, uh, stamina left, but that is okay guys because we have a decent surplus of those bad boys ready to go So then what we do is that we speed this up again by three hours and five minutes. Shabam. We heal all our soldiers. And then we make sure that these bad boys are being sped up. Ah. There we go. I don't want to ever waste time for my soldiers, so we're just going to have to go ahead and do that. Oh, so we got ourselves an another victory. Uh, another clan task has popped up. So let's go ahead and attack that little monster again. Let's go ahead and use ourselves an uh, advanced one. And then what we do... So let's first say, actually no, we don't need to do that right now. Uh, let's see, what else, what else? Oh yeah, we kill some, some, more, some more of these. These are called Snallygasters. It's a very silly name. Attack Snallygasters. You so snally, you snally boy. Such a snally gaster. Oh, don't be such a snally gaster. So stupid. Boop, 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 and boom. And as you guys can see, we have a very large portion of our stuff set up. And the Grail, which is our beautiful, beautiful wolf Grail, is there helping us out. Don't pay attention to Serenity down there. They are do saying stuff they shouldn't be. Alright. Anyway, so, uh, let's see. What else? Wood. There we go. Now we, we got ourselves up to, up to 1.3 million wood, and that would be very, very good. Yay, we rhymed. Woohoo! Alright. So then we, we go ahead and attack another one, another one of these bad boys. Nice and easy. Lots of murder. Everybody's gonna like murder. Murder, 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 murder. If I say that too many times, I'm probably going, going to get flagged, so... But, uh, yeah. Lots of destruction and pain. Mwahaha ha 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 Alright. There we go. I mean, we do those. Now, these ones are, are interesting. If you go over here... Uh, these ones are called Squad Exploration, and they take about 4 hours and 30 minutes, or longer, depending on what's going on. The reason why I don't do them is because you have to actually unequip your heroes from your marches, and then I constantly forget to re-equip them, so I just let those go by the wayside and do everything else. So, I mean, 
you know you're not required to get every single uh quest done but it does definitely help just kind of depends on how you feel all right uh, let's see go ahead and grab that all right, so what we need to do is check to see what is out there. Is that a feral beast? No. We need a, uh, a reaper. Join that, attack. And then in five minutes, that will be all set up and ready to go. Uh, Damon is uh, is our leader, and he's helping helping us grow. We are two point six seven billion power, which is amazing. Yeah, uh, Damon is forty seven million power. That's pretty impressive. We are thirteen million power wow we are we already defeated 101 million soldiers that's a lot those numbers grow pretty darn big when you're when you uh defend your territory uh let's see anything else go ahead ahead and i could probably heal these there we go uh, let's see, what else? We've already reached the highest tower. Uh, these other ones are a little bit difficult. So we're going to have to figure out how to make those work out. But, uh, let's go see if we, we can upgrade anything else. No, unfortunately we can't. Yeah, I don't want to do that. But, uh, yeah, within a few minutes, 3 minutes and 20 seconds, we will get our last one. By the way, if you don't want to attack, you know, Reapers, you can, uh, you know, make 40 Alliance donations. You can claim 6 online rewards. You can do uh, attack a Reaper. You can gather uh, 10,000 resources. You can gather 1 time or 4 times or however many times. You can upgrade buildings. You can uh, daily log in. You can level up any hero. You can claim quick exploration bonus one time. You can uh, complete exploration stage one time. Perform uh, hero recruitment three times. Perform alliance help ten times. And, uh, yeah, as you guys can see, these all just, you know, keep adding up. But, yeah, if you guys are, are ever, you know, in a pinch and trying to figure out, you know, how to quickly uh, get yourself those daily rewards, just, you know, go ahead and watch this video, and this will give you guys the information that you need. Uh, anything else? Hmm, 136 out of, uh... How many, how, how, however many people, that's good. All right. Merp. All right, so. I don't know if we have anybody joining us. It does not look like we do. But we have 70,000 Howlers, 17,000 Butchers, seven, uh, 17,000 Oppressors, I mean, sorry, 72,000 Howlers, and we have 17,953 Thorny Drivers. So, yeah. Uh, let's see, anything else? 
Originally, I would as well, but I need to sleep soon for work, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, so I'm gonna be put on light duty at my job for at least tomorrow, just to see how things go, and of course, you know, they always do a, do a drug test when you get injured on the job, but like it is, guys, you know, the only thing I've been taking is ibuprofen for the pain and my eye drops, that's it. So, the only possible way for me to actually fail that drug test is if somebody tampers with it. But, I don't think that should happen. But, you know, you can't be too careful nowadays. Oh, wow, nice. And look at that. So, because... Wait, did we, did we, did we win? Oh, wait, not yet. Our forces are going over there single-handedly. It's just us. That is a okay. Oh wait, Vicky uh, sent some resource, sent some soldiers to help us. Thank you very much, Vicky. That's very nice of you. And as you guys can see, that was a very easy victory. Claim that. Oh, you butt lump! I thought that was going to be enough. Oh. Well, let's go ahead and, and, and attack another Reaper. All right. Hello, Reaper. I'm going to murder you now. All right. Uh, anything else I want to cover? By the way, this is a fun little event that, uh, uh, that the, that the developers perked up, put up. This is, uh, the uh, lucky person one that's been uh, up for about six days. All we have to do is get ourselves 200 of these and we will get these massive rewards, which would be huge for us. Oh. Oh. Now, you know, we'll, 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 we'll get some of those bad boys and we'll get some of those bad boys. And then we complete all the tasks to get all these bad boys, which will be very, very nice. I usually just drink energy drinks, period. I don't have an espresso or a coffee. Well... I kind of have a coffee machine, but I also kind of don't. It's kind of weird. But, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it works. Got ourselves some good stuff right there. Anything else? Anything else I want to cover? I'm trying to see how quickly I can get myself diabetes. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, no, uh, so, uh, my, uh, my aunt, uh, sorry, no, my uncle and my grandpa both had diabetes. <laughs> there may be an aneurysm. I like popping up on chats uh, just to say the most outrageous stuff because, you know. <laughs> you know, I always do wonder how people react behind the screen. Cause I know that that just say LOL, but like, I wonder like like what the level of the laughter is. That's the part that kind of that kind of makes me giggle. Anything else, anything else, anything else? Um, no, so anyway, so, uh, yeah, this has just, just, been, just been, been kind of a quick little recap video of how to get your stuff set up. Uh, as you guys can see, our uh, heroes are all looking good. You have a uh, interesting look to you. 
not exactly a fan of you know of, of the humans. I just, I just like the wolves because they look awesome. Because you have this big scary boy that that has like a 600, 700 pound, you know, block of iron on his body that pretty much makes him invincible. So nobody can like attack him from like any weak point. And then you have 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 this uh, this fluffy girl, um, Yelena. She looks she actually lo lo looks kind of cool. And then you have Gorky, who's all fluffy. Look, look at Gorky; he looks really cool. Big old strong muscle wolf that could rip you to shreds. Layuba has a cute, you know, giant wolf with her. That always loves pets. And is her faithful and loving companion. Then we have Keslov. A Keslov. He's, he, he's another big scary wolf that you know. That you know is, is very helpful to. You know. Uh, murder enemies. I like Mira. Mira looks nice. She looks more uh, more uh, animalistic. A lot less human than, y than Yelena. So uh, that's one of the things I like about her. Sakharov is definitely my favorite though, because he's just this big, adorable, loving wolf. You know, big, big, beautiful, fluffy boy. No one knows that Sakharov's mother was actually the illustrious Bella. Rather than get involved in organizational politics, Sakharov prefers to keep to himself and accomplishes his tasks without fuss or fanfare. A silent ghost. A very beautiful wolf. And, you know, this bad boy does, does his job very, very well. Oh, and we can actually upgrade his skill. Bam. There we go. And apparently he is a single targeter assassin. But yeah, he is a big old, big old adorable wolf that likes to play with his little paw. And then, you know, we have uh, uh, Kuznetov. He's a he's a big old sloppy boy. But yeah, he actually looks pretty cool. We have Morozov. All these guys must be like you know Slavic or in that area because all I remember like these. This guy is also a big sloppy boy. And yeah, last but not least, we, we got this guy. And if you think about it, that like giant shackle on his arm could be great for clubbing the enemy or for defending against claw attacks. So that's kind of cool. And then, uh, let's see, what other creatures do we have? Nothing for that. We, uh, we do have Victor, the really big, scary robot guy. A metal puppet powered by magic. Victor developed a personality after years of magical absorption. He is no longer a mere lifeless chunk of metal, and is capable of communicating with other uh, mages. Victor, uh, Victor has shown hard to learn all... Sorry, studied hard to learn all magic all about ma mages and to understand the world. When it comes to combat, Victor is a bit slow and awkward, but his sturdy metal body, invincible iron fist, as well as his ability to almost complete to be almost constantly in motion, makes him the ultimate uh, companion for every mage. So yeah, so he is a pretty cool robot. And then, let's see, what else do we have? We have this big, slobbery bear, Bayer. He's a tank. He's a big, big boy. After an, an, uh, an official mage is familiar... Wait, as an official mage is familiar, Bayer is diligent in fulfilling his duties and does... His best to carry out his role as the toughest living shield in the business. Wearing magical armor for physical defense as well as multi-faceted magical protection, this two-ton giant bear ruthlessly crushes all obstacles in his way.
So yeah, so that's another creature that we can have on our side. Then we have, of course, I'll show you guys our wolfies. And then we have all these guys. Not exactly a fan of vampires, so not really going to show you guys them too much. But uh, we have uh, mine's XV11. That would be uh, 10, 11, sorry, that's right, 10, that's 5, that's 15. So that's uh, mine's the 17th. Uh, we have Stiller, who's this big muscle bulky dude. This this bad, bad, bad boy, it looks like he can actually beat up somebody. And he actually looks legit. Like, you know, that's kind of how a vampire is supposed to look. I don't like these kind of weird human looking vampires. This is this is also another cool one. You know, this, this bad boy's been around for a long time. More of a, uh, oh, so he's actually a tank? He doesn't look tanky. That's weird. This one's just like full on tank defense, but uh Yeah, it's just interesting. I, I I do do like how he looks. Big old muscle boy. But Fred is a very fantastic guy because he has a self healing ability. So if you wanna, you know, wanna just have like all tanks on your team, you know, Fred would also be a good mid level, you know fella because he actually can, you know, can fight. And like I said, he has a self-healing ability, so that is going to be, be be very, very useful, but yeah. Grab that, and then grab that, and last but not least, shabam. All those 300, all that, the, all those points. And then what we do is we go over to here, the lucky wheel. We hit c obtain, claim, and then we can go ahead and get ourselves some yum-yums. We got five... Three hour speed ups, and that would be uh, that would be uh, a good solid chunk of time. Fifteen hours, bam. Remember, remember, guys, the faster that we get our heroes leveled up, the better. Because I mean, uh, get our our castle to level twenty five, the better, because that will open up more opportunities for us to grow and evolve everything else under that and since i have stockpiles hello there ever because i have stockpiles of everything else it won't really matter too much if my resources are a little bit low but my mana supply my cash uh production rate and my production rate are all of these and more mana supply matches the rate of use, normal supply, uh, territory prosperity, increased production rate, current prosperity 171, and cash supply matches the rate of use, normal efficiency. And that is why you want to try to focus on these bad boys. The mana refinery and the marketplace. And remember guys, if you don't have too much money to... You know, to like spend on the game, which is completely understandable. I wouldn't expect people to like spend a lot of money on this game either. A good way that you can, you know, set yourself up, if I can freaking find it, if I can, here we are. There is a supreme monthly supply, which is like, it's either 10 or $20, and then there's the bonus monthly supply, which is the $10. That'll give you the mana tower, obtain the mana tower, and extend its active duration. Mana tower continuously gains mana without using resources. And obtain the investment bank and extend to active duration. Uh, it's out of duration. Investment bank continuously gains cash without using resources. And then, if you do this more expensive one, obtain the, the Super Mana Tower and extend its active duration. Super Mana Tower does not need to use resources to continuously gain mana, and same thing of the sort. You do get other stuff, you get your, your daily rewards, so, you know, that is kind of nice stuff. So, if you don't have too much money, just do the regular bonus monthly supply, and you will, you know, still get a decent chunk of stuff, and, you know you'll be all set and that will give you a little bit of a help helping hand passively but always try to hop on the game every 10 to 10 to 15 hours because uh there is stuff that you know that goes on there 
there is stuff that that uh, that that goes on during all that. So, you know, you want to make sure that you don't, uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But anyway, guys, uh, this has been Sabin Dimitrov, aka Dins for the Aster Wolf. I appreciate you guys here being here for this next video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and that. Uh, this has been informative for newcomers and individuals who, uh, are trying to figure stuff out. Um, like I said, guys, I kind of just started this game just as kind of like for craps and giggles. But, you know, as time went on, I found it to actually be, be a fun game. And I am part of an active guild and community. And I've had people be like, yo, do more videos of this. So, I'm trying to do more videos. And like I said, guys, I will do more in-depth walkthroughs of this game as time goes on. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for being here for this fun video. Always remember to like, share, and subscribe, guys, because the faster we get to a thousand subscribers, the better. I mean, no, not subscribers, Wolfpack members. What am I saying? My apologies, guys. If we get to a thousand Wolfpack members, we can restart, ma start making, it, bringing it in that cash. By the way, <laughs> sorry. By the way, guys, I'm trying to set up a Patreon or like some kind of uh, channel so that way, you know, if you guys feel free to support or, you know, want your money to go to a credible source, you know, please, by all means, you know, let me know what other or what kind of program, not well, either programs or like, uh, you know, uh, apps or, you know, things I can use to set up a uh a uh a funding account because i think it would be wonderful for the whoa. okay that's new you don't get to see that very often so that's one of the of the very few times you actually get to, get to see people activate stuff oh so gathering speed then if that is the case then what I want to do is also activate my territory bonus. Use my gathering speed up to a 24 hour one. And then what we want to do is get, is get ourselves some diamonds. And because this server, you don't usually ever get attacked. You don't have to worry too much about you losing your soldiers. Uh, I'd say... Crystals would also be a difficult one for us to run into, so we want to get that set up as well. And go ahead and do that. And there we go. But uh, yeah, so that has, has helped us out a lot because now we have two bonuses set up for us. And we are inside our territory, so we don't have to worry about not getting that. And uh, just so you guys know, uh, on the map, if you zoom all the way out, you only see uh, you know, certain aspects of the map. What the heck are you? Oh, hello, Lazlo. What are you doing way over there? But yeah, so as you guys can see, not, I mean, just uh, my server, you don't have to worry about being attacked too much. I was attacked once by someone else, but they lost all three battles, and it didn't take us too long to heal ours, so very happy with that, and they had a absolutely enormous healing bill, so that was very, very good for us, but... Yeah, this is what the map looks like when it's uh, spread out. Oh, interesting. Okay. Interesting. So anyway, so when you zoom in a little bit, you will see smaller things pop up 
And these are like different alliance capitals, I think. Oh, uh, no, 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 sorry. Uh, these are cities. We have level 3 building cities. We have a level 1 building city. That's a sacred place. And then as so then, you know as you you like uh, as you like zoom in, you will start seeing what the different you know colors are, and all these different colors are different you know alliances, and we have a couple really freaking big alliances, and yeah, uh, it's just a pretty much a just a wacky spider web of just like what the heck is going on, you know. But you know ours is astrolic blue. This beautiful blue color right here. So very happy with that. <laughs> Look at this, guys. So anyway, this is where we all are. We have like 10 billion allies all in this little, er little area. And then as we zoom in, you then start seeing monsters. You see, monsters and reapers pop up a little bit differently. I think these ones are our reapers. And then you have monsters. Yep, that's a reaper. And that's a re and these are feral beasts. So feral beasts are this kind of like weird orange and then the the reapers are reds. And then, and then, as you you guys zoom in, you will see more uh, more parts of the map come into focus. And then you start to see more stuff come up. See, your your HUD completely changes when you do that. And then you then you can you can start seeing what people have. These are uh, Alliance crystal shafts. You can see all the different monsters and resources and all that other cool stuff there. And then as you zoom in, there we go. So yeah, I just figured that would be a good way for you guys to kind of get an idea if you want to check something out very quickly. But yeah, so, wow, two freaking days. Wow. I might, you know, recall my soldiers early. But uh, yeah, um... This will help us out a lot because we have two bonuses going. We have our alliance bonus and then our bonus. So this stuff would be a lot more. <sighs> Sorry, guys. A lot more to get. So, yeah, very, very happy with that, guys. And um, because we don't have to worry about being attacked, you know, we are doing just fine. But anyway, guys, this has been Sabin Dimitrov, a.k.a. A Dense for the Astro Wolf. Been an absolute pleasure to have you guys here for this video. I really look forward to, you know, seeing you guys on my next video. You know, like I said, always remember to like, share, and subscribe. And just, you know, let me know what you guys think. Oh, and by the way, guys, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, this is fun. So you can also check different, you know, things, how they look. So... If you click on, on on resources, very barren is far on, uh, far on the outskirts. But when you get more on, you know, toward the end, you get to barren, good, fertile, very fertile, and extremely fertile. And that is where we are. We are extremely fertile. If you hit bookmark, you can see friend, enemy, or special. Specials are stars, enemies are skulls, and friends are something else. Not sure how that works out. Oh, oh, I see. These are bookmarks. You have to bookmark stuff, bookmark stuff to. Uh, to see what we have. My apologies. And then you see your alliances. And then, you know, if you click off of that, the alliances disappear. You click back onto this, alliances reappear. Anyway, guys, this has been Sabine Dimitrov, a.k.a. Agents for the Austral. It's been a pleasure to have you guys here for this next video. I look forward to seeing you guys on this on the next video as things come out. Let me know what, what, what you guys think, and I look forward to being really forward to seeing you guys. You guys stay awesome, and always remember, God bless.